Hello, Russell Aquarium X Pets here, and in today's video, we're going to answer the question, will isopods eat live plants? As you know, isopods are widely used in bioactive enclosures as cleanup crew members. They can do a great job maintaining a healthier enclosure by consuming animal waste, decaying plant matter, uneaten food, shed skin, etc. However, some isopods will munch quite willingly on healthy live plants. Many species in the genus Armadillidium are particularly known to do so, as is Venezilo parvus and Cubaris marina. There are undoubtedly others that will do so as well. These are just the ones that I've noticed being pointed out as particular plant munchers. The species of plant, availability of other food, and the density of the isopod population can all influence how much of a problem this might be. I have kept, for example, Armadillidium species like Nasatum and Maculatum in fairly low densities in planted vivaria with tougher plants, such as Sansevieria, snake plant, and Aglaonema, Chinese evergreen, without much trouble. If I had been trying to grow mosses, or Phytonia, for instance, both of which Armadillidium species are said to be very fond of, and, or the isopods had been in very high densities, I likely would have had issues. There are other isopods, such as dwarf whites, Trichorhina tomentosa, uh, the powders, Porcelioni de Sprinosis, and Porcelio scaber that have a long history of being used in planted bioactive vivaria with success. They tend to be much more likely to leave healthy plants alone, but if the plant starts to die, all bets are off. I've seen groups of Porcelio dilatatus in one of my garter snake enclosures nibbling busily at the wilting and dead leaves of a snake plant without touching the healthy leaves at all. So here are some quick tips to minimize damage to your plants by isopods. Number one, avoid keeping Armadillidium, Venezilo parvus, Cubaris marina, or other isopods known to be especially fond of eating live plants in bioactive vivaria with vulnerable plant species, unless you're okay with plants being nibbled and perhaps being eaten entirely. Number two, do your research on specific isopod and plant combinations that you're considering. I'd love to be able to give you an exhaustive list of all hobby isopod species and all plants that each species will do well with, but that is unfortunately not feasible. What I can do is ask you to post your experiences, both positive and negative, with isopods and live plants down in the comments, and try to give some details so that you can help other hobbyists out, and the comment section be can become something of a resource when people are trying to figure these issues out. Number three, make sure that the isopods always have plenty of decaying leaf litter and other food. If isopods are hungry enough, they'll snack on things they might otherwise ignore. I can't blame them. I'm the same way. Thanks for watching today. I post videos on aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.